Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome back to Life is Strange. We are on episode 4 now. In episode 3, uh, we, we, we rewounded it life. Rewound, rewinded it. We, we went back in time basically and changed the course of history is what my dickhead mouth is trying to say. William is now Chloe's dad. I mean, he, he, he always was, but he still is, is what I mean. He didn't die in the car crash because we saved him because we are amazeballs. Chloe is in a wheelchair for some reason or a bloody other, which I'm, I imagine we'll get to the bottom of this, but that was a bit of a shock. Um, the stepdad, uh, whatever his name is, what's his name? I only played this the other day. I can't remember his name. Anyway, the stepdad is out of the picture and is no longer the stepdad. I mean, Chloe's stepdad. He is now a bus driver of the school. Go him. And we are one of the cool kids. So, with all that shit that's changed, let's get a move on. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yeah, right? That's a lot of shit that I changed by looking at a bloody picture. I'll tell you that for nothing. Oh, God. What else has changed? That's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, what about me mum and dad? At least they're alive. Oh. Well, we're on a beach. That's nice. Oh, we've t have we turned into a crab now, have we? Is that is that how is that how batshit crazy everything's got? They like the copyrighted music, don't they? Bless them. I wish I did. Just pain in my bloody backs. <laughs> well, at least we got Warren off our back, which is nice. The, the needy bastard that is Warren. Finally, he might be able to move on. Well, he kind of has because he was he was necking on with that girl, weren't he? What what's with the four whales? They've added to the collection at the end of episode three. There was only three of them. It's got, has it got somebody to do with that lighthouse? It's in the background. I have no idea. There's a park bench as well. What's, what's he got to do with a bench? I've turned myself into a bench now. Are the whales just part of the scenery now? Like... Because I've got to admit, if I was walking past the whale, I'd, I'd be saying some shit. It's 
weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best station. Why are we doing small talk? Why don't we just ask her what the fuck happened? Right, and to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? A sunset? An hour. Oh. <laughs> See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Ah, it was a car accident. Right, okay. Where's my mouse? There it is. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, that's, that's Rachel, right? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. What? Didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? It's a different After world from ten kids, minutes ago, so love. Never world. mind bloody when you were kids. What was that? I was I was I was being Billy Big Bollocks and talking over it. You think we'll go with that one? That always works. You think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. You're telling me? You seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So, I take it we're not gonna reverse all this. We're, we're, we're actually happy that we're living in this time frame right now, are we? Is that, is that what the consensus is, love? How the hell do you get yourself out of this one then? Or is this life now? Or are we going back? I've got so many questions and the bloody microphone's not answering any of them. It's definitely got something to do with that lighthouse. You can't tell me. Cameraman's fucking giddy with it. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. 
They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Even I can't mess that up. Can I? Can I? Oh, we got a cup. We got a cup. Aha, there you go. I was going to go walk about then, trying to find the bloody tap. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. Oh, if only you knew. Uh, uh what do you remember? Oh, it seems like yesterday. Mm. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Oh, you have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh... I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Right then, let's go and find Blade Runner, shall we? Good choice. Um, uh, is it already in the DVD player? Or I don't want to go snooping around the bloody girl's bedroom. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Can you get Blade Runner on DVD? I know it's a bit of an old film. Oh, here we go. One minute, search. Oh! Found the stash. Uh, here's the DVD. Aha! We found the DVD. Put the DVD in the DVD player. It's gripping gameplay, this. <laughs> I 
And we got a QTE coming up, girls. You know, um, you mash Q to stay awake and eat a blink and stuff like that. Or, or, or are we just... No, no, we're just we're just watching it. Apparently, this is this is exciting. You know, in actual in some games, you actually run for your life, and it, and 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 there's a bit of. Just, I'm not bashing it. I like the game. I'm only joking. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Okay. Now what's going on? I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Yes! Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Arr! I'm on it, Chloe. Right, so we're going upstairs and getting and getting the the the, the morphine injector thingy me jiggy. Is that right? I have no idea. Hi guys, how are you? Don't mind me, just wandering around the house like I did in the old days. Well, technically, I've got a message. I'm not reading it. Oh, -ho. right. Uh, bathroom. She said. She said bathroom. And uh, yeah, here we go. If memory serves me right, this is the bathroom. Can't turn the light on though. Why can't I turn the light on? Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, right. Turn that on, and then and then we're looking for the morphine stash. Is it in here? Might be. The bathroom place is any. almost the same. Just more medicine. Okie dokie. It's not in there. Is it in this drawer? Nothing here. Oh, for God's sake. Give me a clue, love. Cabinet. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Cool Chloe uses natural medicine too. Oh, my days. It's not going to be in the bathtub, is it? Where the... I thought she said bathroom. Here it is. Ah-ha! I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. A, a cabinet has two doors on it, you see. We'll turn the light off so no one suspects that we've been up here. Yeah, a cabinet has two doors. I didn't know you had to click on each one individually. Keeps it interesting, doesn't it? Right, let's go and deliver this to the druggie, shall we? Um, William's over there still. I don't know what he's doing. Can we talk to him? Should we talk to him? Why not? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Oh, care room, Chloe, Joyce, leave. That, that, no. Um, Chloe! I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Um, is she mad at me? She doesn't seem mad at me. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. 
I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? No. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Oh, I've just realized she kind of needs this injection, love. And we're having a bloody chat about the weather. The Prescott family might be bad news. She's not yelling, so it's what do you fine. think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Are we really going to talk about... Oh, the tornado thing. All right, yeah, go on. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. He's a nice guy, is William. He's better than that bloody stepdad. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. What is this, the Matrix? I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Is that it? Did we do good? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um... Stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. All right, let's go and get this photo album. That's the one, I'm guessing, since the guitar let me know. Here we go, let's go and reminisce about old times, love. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, I've got to click to turn the page! Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Aha! No? Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and... And it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just 
putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. What? Do you understand? No! I mean, I do, but yes, no! I do. No! Don't All do you it! have to do is crank up Stop the it. to 11. Stop it! Oh, for God's sake. I've just been through this with the bloody walking dead! I'm not doing it again! Stop it! No! Don't look at me like that! I'm not doing it! I'm... No! Bloody... Refuse! I'm not killing her! Chloe... I can't... It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. No! Choice. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? Hell I no! Kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Wow! Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Can we not go, like, into the picture and change time again? This is Butterfly Effect 101, this. is bloody... Wow. Can we do that? Is that a thing we can do? It makes sense. Aha! Here we go. I'm sorry, William. Oh, have we got to kill him? What? Can they not... Is there no way they can both live harm har har harmoniously together? No? Is that another thing we can do? Oh, I've bloody got to do this now, aren't I? Uh, have I found it? you got to find the sweet spot. There we go. I had it then! You can't tell me I didn't have it! <laughs> it's taking me that long to do it. It's his own space to autofocus. No! It's it's the only bit of gameplay I've get to do. Alright, I'm going to figure it out. Just give me half an hour. <laughs> There we go. You've got to release the mouse button. Don't That's what it was. Computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college funds? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Can you not just? Don't blow it. Can you not just tell him to go a different route to pick up the mom? No. Cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving. And then just. Tell him not to buy Chloe a car. Or... Do you know what I mean? Surely there's other ways of, of, of doing this. Just admit you're slightly psychic and hope everyone believes you. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never going to see us again. Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Oh, look at that. He's back. Yay. I was worried. Oh, shit. <laughs> Things are back to normal. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. We are getting in deep here, my friends. We are, we are buggering everything up. Now, where the hell are we? Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Right, so everything's gone back to the way it was... Uh, did you forget we've gone over this? At the beginning of episode three, we right? Before time she went back in time and changed everything. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. I'm gonna go with yes. Welcome I could be wrong. To the real world, Max. Space to get up. Maybe I don't want to get up. Hey, do you ever think about that? And on that note, guys, I am gonna leave that one there. Holy shit! That is that's that that's a complicated storyline, that is. So we've now gone back in time to change everything to the way it used to be. So basically, we've just wasted half an episode doing fuck all, basically. No, I'm only joking. So, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Can we do a two-for-one special? Is that a thing we can do? He's going to give it a go. He's going to mess it up, but he's going to give it a go anyway. Get in alignment. Get in alignment. Come on, me. Oops. Oops. Went and done a bloody two for one special, hasn't he? I am the king of sniping. I am amazed balls.